So today we're going to be talking about our Whitman 4.0 digital system. Now, what Whitman 4.0 is like any other industry 4.0 system, except with a little bit extra on top. Now, what we can do with Whitman 4.0 is have full control of all of our auxiliary equipment, which you see around me. Now, what we can do is have data transfer between our IMM behind me and all of the equipment around me as well. So we're gonna start off with something that we call our mold card system. So when we're trying to set up a mold, it's as easy as coming in here, and all I have to do is select my part, and it's gonna tell me what auxiliary equipment I need to plug in. So we come to here, and it's now telling me that I need my blender, my dryer, and a dual zone TCU. So to get our system up and running, all I have to do is come around, connect our ethernet plugs, which is one plug for everything. And as soon as we do this, our machine is now going to be looking for these pieces of equipment. And you can see on the controller, it says connection of Whitman peripherals has changed. So we can stay on this page. And right now we have a warning saying connect the device and within another second or two, those are gonna to start to auto-populate as you can see. And once we have all green check marks like we do now, we can come into here and load our part. Now, this is getting us ready for production. We're gonna load this part and once everything is in, we can actually start. So while we're waiting for this, we can also view our robot controller on this screen as well. Now, what we're doing here is mimicking the pendant, pendant for our robot. And this is all of the same functionality that you get in the pendant. You don't lose anything by operating through the IMM controller. So you can come into here, you can go through our quick edit program, you can do text editing through this as well. You have full controllability of the robot as well, right here. So there's no need to go to the back side of our press and actually look at your robot pendant. Although we still have a pendant back there in case you are working on the robot back there. So now we can see our yellow part is loaded. We can put our machine into automatic mode and now we are off and running. And that yellow part is now being produced representing a different mold being run off at a customer. Now, if we wanna switch what we're running, it's as easy as tapping on our different part and we go back to this mold card now. And it's gonna say we need to connect these two single zone TCUs. So we can come over to here and once again, all we have to do is plug and play. So we plug in our two TCUs. Well, our process is still currently running. So we're not experiencing any downtime while we're setting up the system around us. So we can see on the screen right now, in a second, it's gonna load in that we connected those two TCUs, and there we go. So now, it's telling us that we're good to go, and that dual zone TCU, it's saying it's not needed, so when we load up this program, we can program our machine to shut off that dual zone TCU. So you don't have to worry about going around the press and turning TCUs on and off. This also applies to all of the other equipment as well, so our dryers, our blenders. Now, we can go into here, we just have to put our machine back into manual mode, and we can begin loading a different part. So now we're experiencing significantly less downtime for our machine and our process. While this is loading, we're gonna show some of our visualization that we have on the machine. So our OPC UA connection is coming through. And now you can see one half of this dual zone TCU was set off, and now the second is off because this dual zone TCU is not needed for this process. So showing it, I can fully control this TCU from here if I wanted to, but the machine already did it automatically and shut it off for me. So we can go back, we have our green part loaded, we are back into automatic mode, and we are back up and running once the robot homes itself. So our robot's back home, and now we are running our green part. So this makes setup significantly easier for the operator as you don't need to go around and transfer any set points, make sure that certain TCUs are plugged in because everything is done automatically for you when you load in that part. Now, when you plug any of our Whitman 4.0 enabled equipment into our machine, 
its IP address is automatically uploaded to this page. So on some other pieces of equipment and different companies, you may have to manually enter that IP address, but with Whitman, that IP address is stored on all of our auxiliary equipment that is 4.0 enabled, and when you plug it in, that IP address is automatically sent here. So there's no chance for error in typing in the wrong IP address. Now, we also have something called our TeamViewer program. This is on all of our machines, and this is a great service for our technicians. If there's any issues with a machine, we can get into here and actually see what's going on, and our techs over the phone can help customers diagnose their machines on the spot. So, one more service that we offer with a fully connected machine is something that we call our MES system. So I'm going to now introduce one of my colleagues, Eduardo from Whitman Digital, who's the head of marketing, and he's gonna talk about some of our MES solutions that we have. Hi Jack, how are you doing? I'm doing good, Eduardo, okay. how are you? I'm good, I'm good, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. I'm pretty excited to share how we are uh, enhancing the plastics manufacturing industry. Uh, our key product, Timmy Plus, uh, automates uh, uh, production management and uh, seamlessly integrate with ERP system, boosting efficiency. We also offer Imago XT, which is pretty cool because it allows you to get uh, uh, insight of your energetic consumption, highlighting uh, uh, the commitment of our group to sustainability. By leveraging those two solutions, Wittmann is not just advancing technologies, but is paving the way for a more efficient and sustainable future. Thank you. Thank you, Eduardo, for that. That was great. Now, it's awesome that we have these solutions in-house at Whitman, as you can transfer data from any of your auxiliary equipment to these MES systems as well through our 4.0 capabilities. Now, the last thing that we're going to show here is, say you have an error in your system. One thing that being fully synced up here, we should have to wait for our OPC UA connection. Okay. Say for some reason, a set point is changed and now the machine is stopping because it knows that it's out of tolerance. So your machine cycle is gonna stop. We'll set that back. And because the machine has stopped, you're not wasting plastic, you're not producing bad parts. The machine is now gonna sit there and wait until that TCU is back in tolerance. But we can come into here and this is our alarm list page. So any issue with either the machine or any of our connected auxiliary equipment will show up here. And figuring out what's wrong with it is as simple as tapping the alarm. And now the user manual for the machine pops up and it brings you to that exact error right there. And you can zoom, pinch, scroll around, and you have the entire user manual at your fingertips on the machine. This is great for troubleshooting. And now, as you can see, that TCU is back in tolerance and the machine started back up automatically again and our production has continued. So, thanks for your time and attention today. This has been a quick look at our Whitman 4.0 system. Thank you.